Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. As you know, I'm traveling, so the room I'm in, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting because I've got like natural light coming from all over the place and it is so difficult for me to just kind of figure out where to put the camera. Anyway, for those of you who are new, I'm Magical Chronicles and I am here to talk to my Venus sign of Virgo. So, Virgo, let's take a look at what's going on with you. All right, pre-meditation told me that you kind of need to have some fun right now. You're kind of stuck in a bit of a rut. You're looking at everything from just one viewpoint and you're not able to, let's just say, you're not able to move past that. So in other words, Okay, for those of you who are trying to date and you haven't found your partner, what you're doing right now is that you are not finding the right partner, right? You're dating around, you're on dating websites, and you're not expanding your search. So let me give you an example. So for instance, you might be saying, okay, I want to date people who are between the ages of 35 and 40, but you're not finding what you're looking for. You may need to kind of like expand a little bit. Instead of doing 35 to 40, maybe do 33 to 42. Just to kind of see if you get somebody who might be a little older, but they may actually be on your level. Also, those of you who are working, I'm getting a little bit of a feeling, again, being stuck in a rut and you're not really expanding on the work that you're doing. So for instance, you may be stuck, you may not know how to get past what you're doing, but you're not asking for help. So what I'm gonna say is that either you get a colleague to help you talk to your manager, see if there's some assistance that you can get because you are going in circles and you're just being stuck in that one area and you're not able to move past that. So that's why I also said at the beginning that you need to get a little bit more fun into your life because I feel like you're just stuck in this one pattern and you're not able to move past that, right? So that was what the pre-meditation told me. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else is going on with you right now. I've already pre-shuffled all the cards. So I want to go ahead and do a card of the day for you so you can understand. What is my Venus in for only to learn and understand right now? All right, I wanted to pull two cards for you. So the first one is about you going through like a cleansing and a de detoxifying right now. And I remember one of my other signs had this card recently, which tells me that for you, I don't get the feeling that this is food. I get the feeling this is more your mental thinking. You need to change the way you're thinking, like detoxify the way your brain is. Sometimes people think like a cleansing and a detoxifying is all about the foods you're eating and changing like the things you're putting in your body, but also that can be mental. And I feel for you, this is more mental, right? So you need to just kind of um, develop new ways of looking at things, develop asking for help. That's very important for you right now. But also you got to find a way to like deal with your stress and also just moving on from old patterns and old ways of doing things. So that's what I'm getting for you with this particular card. All right. The next one is opportunity to forgive. And the reason why I like cards like this is because this helps you to grow. It also helps you to heal. But also, sometimes we pick up on like negative patterns or negative ways of doing things and you don't realize that it's actually harming us. So I feel like you need to just kind of forgive yourself, first of all, because a lot of the times it has a lot to do with us. Sometimes it has to do with other people that we don't want to forgive. But this is about you just releasing and moving forward, right? So you want to be paying attention to your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, everything like that. So this is your second card, your opportunity to forgive. All right, let's go ahead Let's see what's going on with the love life since that was something that came up for you. I was really, for some strange reason, messages regarding those who've been using dating websites is what's been coming up. So let's go ahead and take a look at my Venus and Virgo singles. What does my Venus and Virgo singles need to learn and understand that they're how it's good? All right. 
So you got the you gotta release your ex. That's actually what's stopping you right now. You have a lot of energy that's still like you're still thinking about the ex, and sometimes that stops you from moving forward. So this is a time for you to just clear that past energy that you have towards the ex because that's actually what's stopping you from bringing in a new relationship. Let's go ahead and pull another card for my Venus and Virgo singles. So some of you also are thinking a lot about your religion. A lot of your, um, like your love, your love life is actually being influenced by your religious factors. So I don't know why this whole dating website is coming up, but I feel like some of you have placed limitations as to the type of person you want to date. And it might be like, you specifically want to date somebody who's Christian or you specifically maybe want to date somebody who's Buddhist. And sometimes that can limit you because you may not find the right person who's your same religion or same spirituality, but they might actually be somebody who supports your religion. So just be very aware of that. So like I said, your first card was about releasing the X and the second card was about your religious factors were influencing your love life. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what my Venus in Virgo singles need to also look at right now. What do my Venus in Virgo singles need to learn and understand for their comments regarding their love life? All right. Yeah, so you are going through some challenges. You got the seven of wands right here. But you see, you can overcome those challenges regarding your love life. This is telling me that if you just have like, if you just kind of look at things differently and you put more effort into it, and I know some of you are probably thinking, oh my God, I've been putting so much effort into this already. What are you talking about? Like I said earlier, it's about you changing the way you're doing things. Like don't, don't just continue to do A, you know, like some of you would just be like, I am hell bent on doing it this way. This way is working for me, but the honest truth is this way is not working for you. So guess what? If A is not working, you got to try B. And if B is not working, you got to try C. So it's about you finding different ways to do things that are going to benefit you. And I specifically feel that this has to do with your love life. You got to change the way you're looking at things. You got to maybe like redo your profile. I would even say change certain things on your profile. Expand on your search because you're going to end up finding the right person. It's just, it's going to take you a little longer, but... I feel like the reason why it's going to take you longer is because you're stuck and you're so hell bent on it being done this way. So you got to do it differently, right? You got to, you ought to also have a bit more confidence in yourself and courage to say, okay, I need some help. Maybe a friend can look over your, your profile and maybe give you some pointers. Um, you, you know, even if you don't want to discuss it with a friend, you can even discuss it with um, family. If you don't want to discuss it with anybody, you can even find pointers online. YouTube, Google is a great way for you to get some pointers on like how to maybe write up your profile. Make it short and sweet. People don't want to be reading like a long, long, long paragraphs, but that's what's coming up for you. So you got to overcome those challenges, right? Because you're having some challenges right now. And that's the seven of wands telling me. All right, let's go ahead and see what else you need to learn and understand. For your highest and what other messages do you have here? All right. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Right. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about, oh my God, my cards just went all over the place. So the Wheel of Fortune is... You've got like this destiny coming in, it's fate. So if you, I would say right now, if you go out on a date with someone and you feel like this is the right person for you, then you need to follow that gut advice because it's like, this is a big turning point for you. And that's what's going to happen when, once you also start to do things differently and look at things differently because it's as though things are going to just really shift and they're going to start to move faster and they're going to just go in the right direction for you. And you're going to get that wheel of, with the wheel of fortune, right? All right. Let's go ahead now and take a look at my Venus and Virgo couples. All right. Venus in Virgo couples. What do my Venus and Virgo couples need to learn and understand for the highest good?
All right, so you need to start leaning on your friends more for some support, but also your friends can help you right now with, I would say, those of you who need some advice regarding your love life. And like I said, this is specifically for those who are in relationships. I feel like you need some advice right now and your friends can help you. Like they can help you in so many different ways, not just advice, but maybe even help you with planning a party. I feel like some of you want to do something for your partner. I feel like you either want to do like some kind of party or some kind of like get together. And I feel like have your friends help you do this. this that's what's coming up right now. All right, let's see what else Venus and Virgo couples need to learn and understand. All right, okay. Some of you are going through a reconciliation right now. So you've got some past people coming into your life. I get the feeling that this is more so a few of you couples, you've actually been going through a bit of a rough patch and it seems as though there may have been a, a break or like you're not talking right now and I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation, right? Um, I know this, this more speaks to like somebody from your past returning, but I think this more has to do with like your current partner right now. There's been some kind of break and you all need to get through this. You're going to reconcile. You're going to actually talk about what's been bothering you and why this break happened. So just make sure you focus on the issue at hand, like what made you break and ways that you can mend this and really pay attention to what the other person is saying and really listen to what your partner is saying. So the first card was about letting your friends help you. And then the second card was about the reconciliation. All right, let's go ahead and see what else my Venus in Virgo needs to learn and understand for their highest good. Venus in Virgo couples, what else do they need to learn and understand regarding their relationships here? All right, so this is very much, Five of Pentacles is very much, <sighs> for those of you who have been apart from your partner and there's going to be a reconciliation, I feel like this is very much about your, like, you're going through the heartache, you're going through the trauma of like whatever happened between the two of you, you're, this is like, this is a hard time for you right now, right? You're, you're really feeling like you've lost your partner and there's a lot that you want to say to your partner. Hold on, let's go ahead and clarify that five of pentacles for the Venus in Virgo couples. All right. I'm glad this one came out. So this is the judgment card, right? So I wanted to clarify the five of pentacles that you got. And you end up getting the judgment card. And this is like, take a break. Really think about what you said to your partner and think about what your partner said to you recently because this is like a period for you to, I don't want to say rest. It's not really about resting. It's about you using this time period to really decide what you want. But I think your partner being away from you, you were actually able to see things clearer. That's the best way to put it. I think you were able to really understand why you all had this, this massive issue that happened between you. And I think that it made things really clear for you as to why this happened. Like, I think you were able to really understand what your partner said 